How did you still manage to hope it could all work out? Because of you. You don't realize it, Raven, but you're actually the most hopeful person I've ever met. Raven is a character that is dear to many people, for a number of reasons. Raven is a character many of us grew up with, so there is a feeling of nostalgia alongside her and the rest of the Teen Titans. I remember watching Teen Titans nearly every Saturday growing up, following the adventures of Robin, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven. And the second reason Raven is dear to people is her personality and her relatability. While Raven's closed off nature confused me in my younger days, it is something I have found to be extremely relatable now. Raven's personality resonates with many people and a few of her traits resonate with myself as well. With that being said, who is Raven? Raven, or as some depictions call her Rachel Roth, is portrayed as either a teenaged or adult girl who is a member of the Titans, a group of young superheroes who operate together, sometimes under the supervision of the Justice League. Raven to me has always been cool and mysterious and her appearance reflects her personality as she is often shown wearing a blue or purple cape and a hood that casts a large shadow over her face coupled with her pale skin and purple hair. The one thing I really loved about Raven's personality was that even though she was very closed off and cold, Raven has a kind heart and could always joke around with other members of the team when the time called for it. As I said, she has always been more collected and calm in contrast to the more outgoing members of the team, like Beast Boy, Starfire, and Cyborg. As there are many different and sometimes contradicting backstories for Raven, I will be mostly focused on the Teen Titans show that aired in 2003, but I will look at her other iterations and quickly look over the different themes that have been brought up by the other comics. Raven is the daughter of Trigon, one of the most powerful beings in the DC Universe, making her half demon and half human. Her mother was Arella, a human who joined a cult that allured the demon. As Trigon appeared to Arella as a human, he impregnated Arella with Raven and later left the woman. Arella would reside in the realm or dimension of Azeroth where Raven was born. In the comic series Titans, Raven is the first child, ahead of notable sons Jesse, Jared, and Jacob, who represent the sins of envy, lust, and wrath, alongside the other deadly sins, and Raven, who represents pride, the cardinal sin that the others were born out of. Through all the different Ravens we see, there is always a glaring theme of an internal struggle or duality to her and that struggle often relates to her powers. Raven has the abilities of flight, telekinesis, magic, empathy, astral projection, and many more. So it is easy to see that Raven is the most powerful titan. However, the strongest enemy she has aside from her father is herself, more specifically her mind and her emotions. There are also the themes of destiny and hope in Raven's story, but we will get to those later. Raven's powers are completely controlled by her emotions. This reflects the stoic and composed nature that she carries. Raven works so hard to try and keep herself and her emotions controlled so that she may use these abilities. I believe the 2003 cartoon embodies the most accurate Raven. If we look at the Nevermore episode of Teen Titans, when Beast Boy and Cyborg take a trip to Raven's mind, they see how many different emotions that Raven has to keep in check. From the most overwhelming emotions like the gray timid Raven or the green courageous Raven to smaller ones like sloth and knowledge who were all illustrated by unique colors. Even though she manages to succeed in controlling all of these emotions, especially rage, Raven is rarely in emotional harmony, a feat that is shown very few times visualized by her white outfit. This alone shows how many emotions Raven has to deal with and how her mind is like a battlefield, which explains her constant meditation. Not only this, but looking back at the Titans comic, after she meets her half-brothers, she claims that she felt the darker side of herself grow, and this demonic part of Raven is always clawing to take control, identified by the four eyes of Trigon. This again shows that internal struggle that Raven deals with transcending from the emotional to the spiritual plane, something that she also struggles with in the 2003 series. 
With this immense emotional burden Raven carries, it makes sense that Raven has the enhanced ability of empathy. And I want to look at this aspect of her. Empathy is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from their frame of reference or perspective, to place oneself in the shoes of another. In certain depictions of this, Raven can induce and invoke certain emotions upon others, like feelings of calm or love, for example. However, in the Teen Titans show, it is shown in a more grounded sense, as it is carefully woven into Raven's character. Raven in this series is often shown to be an understanding person, in fact, one of the most compassionate titans, who can identify with people's struggles. Since Raven is someone who is so in tune with herself, and she greatly understands emotions, this makes sense. For instance, when Cyber gets upset after his brand new T-car gets stolen, Raven was the one who helps him find it and build it back up. Even though she could care less about the car, she understands what it's like to put your heart and soul into something. Also, Raven babysitting the kids in hide and seek, even calling them my kids at one point, shows her deep feelings of care. And finally, when she listens to and understands Beast Boy's feelings of fear at the end of The Beast Within, as she too knows what it's like to have internal fears, and she knows exactly how it is to have a beast within. She tells Beast Boy that knowing when to unleash it is what makes him human. These moments demonstrates Raven's empathetic abilities and her affinity for care. Again, since Raven has a very unique relationship with her own emotions, and a plethora of different ones at that, she has a great understanding of what others feel. Behind the sarcasm and the solitude, Raven is someone who cares immensely about those around her. Continuing on the Teen Titans cartoon, their fourth season focuses on Raven and her story. Raven is a vessel for Trigon, as Trigon tells her, her destiny, her purpose, is to help her father destroy the Earth, and for her to become a portal for him to come to Earth and her birthday marks the beginning of Trigon's conquest. The one thing I want to focus on here is Raven's fear of opening up. Raven has always been reluctant to open up, scarcely mentioning Trigon, but never mentioning the fact that Trigon was her father. Raven was afraid of her friends' reaction to her true nature, as she was the daughter of the devil. Though when she has no choice but to tell them, she is surprised by their reaction that they still wanted to fight alongside her. And on her last day on Earth, Raven did nothing else but please everyone else. She wanted to make sure everyone had the best day they possibly could. From pancakes, to playing stank ball, and even having fun. Which again displays her nature. Raven has such a big heart. Though Raven in the story had lost all hope and shut the rest of her team out, believing that there was no way to stop Trigon. So, as soon as she became the portal, Raven was still alive, but this fear and hopelessness broke her, transforming her into her younger self. So it was Robin, the titan who understands Raven the most, who was the one that would rally the hopeless girl. Robin takes the young Raven to see all of her friends fighting a hopeless battle, without fear, all to save her. When they all get defeated, Trigon taunts his daughter. He tells her this. Your master, you exist only to serve me. You survive only because I allow it. What hope can a mere child have of defeating her all-powerful father? And Raven reverts back to her regular body, dons her white outfit, the most powerful Raven. With all of her emotions now in harmony, she then bans Trigon out of the dimension, saving the Earth. And Robin tells Raven that she is the most hopeful person, and his hope comes from hers. Raven's story has always been a story about destiny and hope. This girl who was destined to be with her father, destined to conquer dimensions, or to be his vessel to take over worlds. But in spite of what she had been told, Raven cultivates her own destiny every single time. Even though her father tells her what she is and the evil that is living inside of her, she always has hope for a better future. 
like Robin says, hope to be a hero. That takes courage and faith. Raven, teenager or not, is a character I think some of us have been in the past, or a person that we still are. A person who struggles with their emotions and letting people into their world. A person who wants to do everything on their own because they are afraid of what will happen when we let others in. Afraid of the way people will perceive the real you, scars and all. A person who has to take and make time for themselves. A person who has the potential to be more than a destiny written for you by someone not named you. So who is Raven? Raven is a character whose background is filled with the supernatural and magic filled with great evil, but has the courage to overcome it. Raven, even surrounded by the supernatural, is one of the most relatable and human characters, one of the more complex titans. Raven is understanding and empathetic, sarcastic and stoic, and for her loved ones, she will do anything for. Raven is caring. Raven is empathy. Raven is courage. Raven is hope for a better future. I guess, in the end, there really is no end. Just new beginnings.